FC Dallas celebrated Goal Week last month when the U.S. Women's National Team made Toyota Stadium its temporary home to play three CONCACAF Olympic qualifying matches. In addition to celebrating the phenomenal growth of women's soccer, the FC Dallas Foundation also promoted the positive influence of women in sports with clinics, speakers, and of course, three awesome matches, which the U.S. Women's National Team won by a combined score of 16-0. The FC Dallas Foundation is putting on this event representing girls on another level, which I think is fantastic. Uh, really honoring girls in sports and, and what sports can do for, for a young girl. Every time FC Dallas defender Moses Hernandez takes the pitch, he has an entire community behind him. That's what we're focusing on this week off the pitch. Just how special it is for Mo Hernandez to play soccer in his hometown. A weekend afternoon in Seagaville is usually pretty calm until one of its favorite sons comes home. Appreciate you, you and I'm glad I didn't give no, you a hard time. No, thank you. No, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. FC Dallas defender Moses Hernandez wasn't the type of student athlete to give anyone a hard time while attending Seagaville High School. That's because he was focused on the sport that changed his life. What a beauty from Moses Hernandez. Moses played for Seagaville until his junior year when he joined the FC Dallas Academy. Moses had that thrive. He, he had that ambition, that, that go-get type of thing. That, you know, he was just one of those that you knew was going to go make it because he wanted it. He wanted it. The school honored Moses by framing his high school jersey. On the very same wall where Seagaville's other star, Spurs forward LaMarcus Aldridge's jersey, also hangs. So when you look up there and you see their... There are only two jerseys that are retired. Uh -huh. One is an NBA All-Star yeah. and one is yours. How does that make you no, it's feel? A, like I said, it's, it's, I'm so happy. It's a blessing to be here having the school, you know, the school where I grew up, a place where I grew up in Seagullville. It's just a blessing every time I come here, see it, just so many emotions go through my head and so many memories. Those memories really started less than two miles away with his family, where Moses developed his skills on a makeshift field behind their house. It was not enough for them to practice with, with his own team. So he came to the house Saturdays and Sundays and practiced over here, go around the trees, try to score the goal right there, make it to that little hole right there. Hey, I mean, it was good. That's what I bought this place. Mm -hmm. For Moses and his parents, soccer is a family affair. His brother also played for the academy while his father played his entire life. So I guess soccer was in my blood. Everybody playing soccer ever since I was little. I remember just playing soccer, playing soccer. Memorabilia of Moses' achievements covers the entire Hernandez family house. We got this from the, in the academy. I think the, one of the last years I was at the academy, um, I took that from the, the locker room, actually. You I'm, took it. I took it <laughs> from, the, from the, I think it was in LA at the academy's finals. It says there with the academy, I took that. I have that there in the walls and stand. Well, I'm really very proud and I love him and uh, my dream, his dream come true, and my dream come true too. There's no words to explain the feeling. I never thought in a million years a guy from, from here, from Seagullville, coming out, seeing all these things, meeting all these people, getting interviewed like this. Um, for my parents, it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor for them. I feel like my mom and dad did a great effort for me to be where I'm at right now. So this is why I'm here today, because of them. I'm just real grateful. And that's the feeling you get from this community of supporters in East Dallas County. From Moses' parents and his former coach to the students he now inspires. There's a sense of gratitude that comes from a job well done. I'm happy to be back here at my school where I grew up. My high school is here. My middle school is just a couple yards away. It's just it's a blessing to be here. Just looking at everything. Just brings back so many memories and just very good memories. That's what it brings back, yeah. Fernando, it was such a treat to go back to Seagaville and, and meet with the kids that, that Mo can impact and meet with Moses' family. And it, and it really does send a message back to these local kids that you can achieve something at the highest level. What does it mean from the FC Dallas standpoint to get these homegrown players and have them playing on your MLS roster? Uh, it means everything. Uh, it's a clear idea that the club has to have an opportunity, give an opportunity to players not only to become a professionals, but also to help them, to help them in the social part of uh, their lives. Uh, Mo is a clear example of what works. 
It really is a family affair, not just here at FC Dallas, but back at Seagaville as well. Okay, we are previewing tonight's season opener against the Philadelphia Union coming up next here on FC Dallas Extra Time. Daniel Robertson and Carter Baum will preview the game as well. Plus, Fernando is back with his final thoughts before the opener. FC Dallas is back home Saturday, March 19th against Montreal. That game starts at 8 o'clock. Don't miss a minute of the best home team in MLS. Log on to FCDallas.com for more information.